yes i think we are live now we'll just wait for audience to build so okay i think we are live hello guys uh, welcome to very special live stream uh, pre match discussion for india versus qatar game uh, fifa world cup qualifier which going to start in next i think 1 hour 15 minutes uh, today i have with me very special guest uh, one of the finest indian coaches we have in the system right now he has coached at various uh, clubs in india in isl in i league uh, we have with us uh, thong boy singh to He is join, who is joining us from Kochi, by the way. Welcome, Coach. How are you doing? So, yeah, you, uh, you, you as a coach, you know, with the uh, Hyderabad FC, you, you guys had a, I think, we did not win any trophy, but as a, seeing the number of young Indian players coming through Hyderabad's uh, team this season. I think it was successful as a uh, success for you as a coach. okay just let me see i think your voice there is a issue with your voice people are saying they can't hear i will just change it yeah i think they should Ashwin. be yeah i think they should I be able to no no there was issue technical issue for my side i will start okay. again uh, coach a question uh, for you i think people unable to uh, hear the, your answer for the first uh, first question can you tell us yeah. again that how was the season with hyderabad fc and uh, with uh, the with yeah. the young players coming you know from the system uh, some of them are uh, are in the indian team today so can you sum exactly. up your season before we start discussion regarding india versus qatar game hi guys hi guys sorry for the little bit of blip maybe from my side uh, well i think uh, from hyderabad fc perspective i think overall it was a great season for us i would say credit goes to uh, a group of people who have who are really passionate about football that is one is varun chopraani the the co-owner uh the management and the staff a very experienced coach like monolo came in and who guided the team and of course we had a good coaching staff not the least the players the indian foreigners all gel together you know as a family move together and perform at their best in the field and the result was there we go positively forward from here not but when i say positively not the covid one though it's about the football one yeah and historically uh, you have been part of system you know clubs especially we all know for you regarding the, your role in this long lejong development and we saw you know one of your ex player bipin singh uh, making uh, history this season so what your take on his season and you know uh, did you accept it you know when he was in at shillong that he will reach at this height and do you think he can reach to the next level from here Well, Bipin is a very intriguing, very interesting story. When he first came, he always had the physical qualities. He had the natural speed. He had the skills. But what he lacked was a little bit of, you know, uh, what we say in the footballing term, a bit of tactical knowledge and tactical nonsense, you know. But he has progressed after leaving, I think, Lejong, where he was groomed, credit to Shillong Lejong, and uh, you know, working with a lot of coaches in ISL, with good coaches, with good staff. has really improved him and you know last season was a very very you know inspiring season for him and this year he make an indian team which is really really a very big achievement for a player i believe that he has a lot of things to improve but today let's see what he does for india and we have lots of people also joining in you know who speak multiple languages and i know you personally that you speak at least five languages can you tell all our viewers how many languages can you speak and is it uh helpful for you to communicate with indian players you know i think one of the very important aspect for for in in the coaching field is uh communication uh you know communication can be different ways 
but the language communication if you can speak to a player or a staff in their language in their mother tongue i think the response is much much better and the understanding because there are some players who understand better in their own mother tongue you know uh, so especially footballers coming from north east i would say uh, and some other parts of india so speaking being able to speak bengali being able to speak manipuri uh, nepali or manipuri or kuki or a little bit of maybe marathi for example you know i think those tip bits help the players to understand better and connect better i think that's that's what has helped me and and the players who has worked with me okay so uh, we are talking about you know we can speak multiple languages so can you uh, say some words say in hindi first let's let's start with hindi aapko kya lagta hai ki talking about all the circumstances can india can india has achhi performance de sakti hai qatar ke against especially considering humne unse pichla match draw kiya hai कोशिश करेंगे हिंदी से uh, वैसे मैं मेरा वॉइस जम्मू के तो हिंदी चलता है घर पे लेकिन जो हिंदी में बोलता हूँ वो इट्स बोन जनरल बट देन अगर इंडियन फुटबॉल टीम के बारे में बोला जाए कुछ साल हो गया आईएसएल जब से शुरू हुआ तब से हमारे जो एक न, लोगों का नज़रिया है हमारे इंडियन फुटबॉल के बारे में थोड़ा तो चेंज हो गया है आज जो हमारे गेम है कतार के गेम्स में अगर हम टू सितंबर टेंथ में वापस जाए फॉर्चुनेटली मैं वहाँ था कतार में उस टाइम मैं ओडिशा एफ के साथ था हम प्री सीजन कर रहा था कतार में उसी स्टेडियम में मैं भी था मैच और दैट वॉज अ वेरी प्राउड मोमेंट उसी दौरान इंडिया ने ड्रॉ किया है दैट वॉज समथिंग अ बिग अचीवमेंट आज टफ मैच डेफिनेटली लेकिन मुझे विश्वास है हमारे पास प्लेयर्स लोग है जो एंड स्पेशली यू नो कैप्टन सुनील इज कमिंग बैक तो मुझे लगता है कि आज अच्छा टक्कर देंगे कतार के खिलाफ Okay, so I think uh, let's stick to English now uh, because I think we will get you some other day in you know, a podcast. Maybe we can speak about how many languages you can speak. Uh, no now problem. let's let's you know uh, ask you as a coach. You know how do you prepare for game like these when you have two more games coming up? You know and considering those two games are you know must win for us. So do you rotate today or you will see that you know your player did not have a, a match practice? Give the key player some minutes. how do you as a uh, as a coach you manage these kind of games and how difficult is uh, to do you know tell somebody a player who is going to play say against bangladesh and afghanistan that you are not playing today yeah i think uh, i it depends upon the you know the time factor of uh, preparations because when i say time factor you know especially this last two years uh, you know with you know you can say that the covid situation is really uh, you know hampered the preparation of any football team all over the world and of course not less than the indian team uh planning against a team would have been much easier if the preparation in terms of you know players being uh, you know training longer with better you know uh, uh, permissions or facilities we came to hear that the indian national team in qatar you know they were in a hotel and you know it was very difficult to have proper training sessions so it won't be easy uh, saying that well sometimes as coaches we are you know uh, given this situation where we have to make a decision today i think igor i think he has planned well because we have the players i think uh, if you see uh, the defense line and the goalkeepers i think we have very very experienced players there uh, and of course sunil is always there we have players who have done well in isl Mm, overall i think uh, whatever lineup igor is going to go i think he will go with a belief that okay we have to you know stay at least the first half if possible tough if you if you go you know 0 0 first half plan like that you know then i i'm not saying defensively of course you have to play more compact in, in the first 15 20 or overall the first half then from there maybe plan have the second plan once you know the score and then go back to the you know dressing room and plan what can be the next step depending upon the results it's it's, it's a t- tough proposition but uh, igor is a very experienced coach so i think he has some surprises on his sleeve today okay and uh, so uh, you so you might rotate you might not so talking about you know somebody like sunil chhetri who has not played much and mm. already coach announced in a pre match conference that you know he will be captaining indian side so 
how you will take this game you know will you set up to completely defend against qatar or you will say you know play your attacking player like sunil chetri manveer singh or you know put somebody like bipin or udanta on the wings and do counter attack i think uh, uh what what i believe would happen is that india would like to play more compact defensively and of course wait for the right moments to counter because we have players like manveer who can you know who is strong on the air and bipin who is you know very quick and sharp and if if they play uh, a line of back five if 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 they send the system then i think uh, any players who are playing as a you know wing backs will have the luxury will have the authority to go up and down and which can you know maybe maybe create problems for 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 qatar with crosses coming for sunil you know and for manveer who you know who can who can who can do something great for india today yeah so, so just that's, before, that's what i think yeah coach just before yeah. moving just news is coming that you know bangladesh has uh, drawn their match against afghanistan 1-1 which is a good news oh. for india you know if india have to finish 3 oh. uh, third in the group oh. so i exactly. think and we are just 5 minutes away from the team news also so let okay. me ask you quickly you know with, with the goalkeeping situ- uh, situation in india right now we have so many good goalkeepers and we can say you know considering gurpreet singh sandhu aminder singh dheerat singh one of the best finest goalkeeping unit we have right now again mm-hmm. aminder has a brilliant icl season dheeraj has a brilliant champions league gurpreet is playing well for india and bangalore fc uh, so there is already some chatters in social media that who should be starting for india who will be your pick for this game i think uh, you know as coaches sometimes you tend to rely back on the the past results and uh, if you see the match uh, on 2019 against qatar in the same stadium i think it was gurpreet singh sandhu who had how many maybe 11 and 12 saves yeah that's right and yeah. and i believe that with 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 his experience of course amrinder has a good season but for today i think we need a person with authority with uh, height reach with leadership after sunil of course uh, 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 a player like uh, gurpreet i i believe uh, good pick might start uh, that's my that's my that's my thinking okay i think we will figure it out in the next 4 minutes that who is uh, <laughs> who is starting and uh, as a coach who, who was you know part of the uh, uh, club setup in isl how do you uh, spend your time in the off season are you watching videos of the young indian players who might be potentially uh, going to join hyderabad or you know how you are managing your time nowadays well uh, you know for a coach i think there is no off day of course there might be a few weeks or so but i think once the season ends the next day itself the preparation starts for 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 the for the upcoming season again not immediately in the field but on the table on the on the on the on the on the, on the computers you know on the discussions it start so for me basically you know i usually uh like to get involved because it's very difficult to stay at home so what i usually do is that, like you say of course if we need to look at certain players for the future or for the youth because i'm deeply involved with the uh, youth setup also uh, in hyderabad fc so we are on the lookout for players recently what we did was we had a trial in Hy- hyderabad for a youth teams then we went to isol we went to uh, manipur there were some plans to go other cities we could not so that way the plan was to travel and scout some young talents for hyderabad fc and of course watch back on the previous seasons and what things we can uh, improve upon being in touch with our head coach mr manolo who is in spain now just chit chat about uh, you know uh, about what's coming up be in touch with the management be in touch with the director of football and you know see what things we can improve upon and of course some family time uh, you know so it, it's important during the break on and off we have family time so it is good to refresh apart from that it's mostly football or watch matches these days a lot of matches are on you know again the copa america is coming up again you know trying to learn some things trying to read football books from the great coaches so basically it's football off season you say but again it's football can can shy can leave away from that ashish okay okay so i think we have team news with us so i will just try to find who are starting i think somebody also commented on a chat right now so Okay. If, if if that is true, because I'm just my team has not sent me any team news as of now, and okay. uh, I will just also check, you know, myself that what is the team news. So looks true. like uh, looks like the Parnoy Haldar is starting with the people. Uh, 
response on the comment I will just check myself yeah as of now nothing on EF, uh, Indian football Twitter handle so we don't know so we're just waiting okay. still for uh, formal uh, uh, team news so you know taking uh, another question regarding young players you have your left back Akash Mishra in the team uh, what you can tell us about his development as a player in last you know couple of seasons especially last season was fantastic for Hyderabad so can you tell us you know uh, how he has improved his game and what we can ho- hope from him in the future Akash is suddenly you know who who shone into Indian football in a, in a few years time before joining Hyderabad FC, of course, he was with the Indian Arrows, where he had uh, developed more as a player. I think credit to AIFF for this program, because if you see Indian Arrows players, most of them, they are now in the IIC teams doing well. Uh, today, if Shuresh play, then Shuresh is one of them, of course. And Akash, I think uh, the good thing about Indian Arrows is the development of playing a lot of matches. That's what a young players need. Being able to play competitive matches. What's, that's what he got, I think, in, in, I, in I League before coming to ISL. And fortunately, in ISL, I think, you know, a club where he was looked after on the field, off the field, and with uh, the senior players guiding him. And of course, the man management of Manolo, because of course we were there trying to guide him and, you know, giving him confidence that, okay, you're bound to make mixed mistakes. It happens. But try your best not to repeat the mistakes. So Akash is a good listener. He talks less, but he listens. There is a long way to go, I believe, for him. But, uh, you know, coming for Indian team now is a big, big achievement for him. Uh, hopefully, let's see. Let's see what's the lineup today. I'm excited yeah, for him. Yeah, so I have lined up with me. Uh, uh, okay. Guru okay. Pesik Sandhu on a goal. Uh, ah, and I was I, right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's Raul Bheke as a right back. If I if I can oh. see Sandesh Jingan as a centre back, and uh, okay, I think it looks like Raul Raul Bheke is playing as a centre back. Pritam Kotal as a right back, and looks like Subhashish Bose as a uh, is playing as a left back. Okay. And we also have Ashik is playing. So and he's listed as a forward in the in the in the uh, okay. lineup list, which I have got, uh, which is official lineup list. So I think it looks like a back five to me. Uh, Ashik as a left wing back and maybe uh, Pritam Kotal as a right wing back. And it can be because Subhashish Bose can also play as a left back and left centre back. So and then of course we have Sunil Chitri, Manveer Singh, and Bipin. You are ex player also starting on in midfield. Ah, we in mid- in midfield, we have Glenn Martin and Suresh uh, starting. So as of now, and there okay. is no Brendan Fernandez uh, because okay. uh, it looks like I think three five two for me. Uh, if I yeah looks sorry. like that yeah looks, looks like, like that. Bipin is also starting, so it it might be three four three. So I think it, it it's a bit surprise for Qatar coach to also find out that who is playing where. Exactly, exactly. I think I think uh, my my assumption is that maybe. Uh, the coach might go uh, on a sort of a holding with uh, Sandesh and probably in the middle and Pritam on the right and Shubhashish. Then maybe Rahul Beke who has the you know experience of maybe overlapping and maybe you know connecting with uh, Manveer or Sunil probably maybe. That's that's what I'm thinking of. And of course, when defensively, Ashik and Rahul has the capacity and the ability to come back, you know, uh, to make it a line of five. Probably that that would be the lineup that should uh, and. Uh, uh, interestingly, I think uh, uh, a great miss is Rowlin Borges in the midfield because you know what he brings us is experience, guile, tenacity, you know, the ability to hold. But if Glenn is starting, I think it's it's, it's a deb- debut for him. Uh, if I'm not wrong, yeah, it's it's a big it's a big game. But but he has shown us in ISL and of course in the AFC Champions League for FC Goa. I think he has shown us that he is capable. Uh, well, nerves will be there. And Suresh Wangzam, of course, with uh, Bangla FC, he was a find. Up front, we have interesting players up front. Sunil, Manveer, Dipin. Dipin, of course, a debut. Congrats to him. It's, it's, it's a great achievement. But we have Sunil to guide them. A little bit of, I won't say a concern, but maybe at the midfield, Suresh and Glenn, we do believe in them. But later on, maybe 
uh, experience like you know Pranoy uh, or or Brandon or even us, uh, Nirut Thapa can come in probably. Yeah, looks uh, like that. Yeah, like and that. Uh, that was my next question. There is no playmaker in this uh, team, you know. Uh, Mm-hmm. No Brandon, no Sahel. So do you think Bipin will play that role, linking the midfield to the attack? And two of you, as you can see, the both the team line up on your screen right now. I've just put in the uh, lineup on uh, on stream, so you can see who are starting and who are listed as okay. uh, which position. So I think coach, maybe I will send you separately. But of course, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Uh, my my assumption, probably probably Suresh and Glenn will sit, you know, deep, uh, you know, and maybe I think. As far as I can guess, I think the pin is more effective on the flank. So, like you said, it might be a five-three-two. Maybe Sunil playing a little bit like a false, probably in the middle instead of Sunil playing on the flank. I think the pin might go on the left and Manbi on the right, or vice versa. I think Sunil is going to play in the middle. That's what I believe, or as a ten. You know, maybe coming back with, uh, of course, set pieces. Of, we are. We can. We can. Do well in set pieces. Indian team always Sunil, but my assumption is that Sunil might play in the middle a little bit of false, and maybe try to counter, you know, with with the speed of Manvir and uh, Bipin. So probably, yeah. My, so my, my, my guess. Yeah, coach. Uh, there is already people chatting about, and I think there is another exclusion which people might need to speak about is there is no. Uh, uh, you know, centre back other than Sandeep Singh playing because Rahul Beke, uh, uh, Subhashish Bose, they they can play the centre back. But somebody like, uh, of course, we know that uh, Sana is not starting. Uh, he had played mm. well in the games which he got, uh, you know, uh, in last friendlies, and he did very well uh, in Hyderabad. Are you surprised that he was he is not trusted for the game like this, or maybe he's rested for the uh, upcoming two games? How do you take that? Well, it can be two things. Uh, because if you hear that interview of Igor, he said that he would like to go with experience. Uh, so there you can see experience. Pritam with a lot of experience for Indian national team. Shivashish, I think he got in because more of us is a left-footed player, you know, trying to cover that area. Uh, Sana, I think if he was fit, he would have had a good chance, but I'm not really sure. Maybe he has some issues or niggles problems. Yeah, I think coach and also. Yeah, I just remember also coach also have uh, said that you know he is not fully fit. Uh, okay. Uh, just give me one second. I think there is some issue which I need to fix. Maybe. Yeah, coach also. Uh, I think there is a news that he is not fully fit for this game, so that's why he's he might be rested. And then of course Adil is not rested here because I think his form uh, form was not good. I just you know. Just got the information. Sana, Sana is injured for this game, so he might okay. be available for the upcoming two games, for not this game. So I think that why. That... I think uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, there can be two reasons. The one is going with experience, and maybe you know Adil coming on later on, probably. And the other second thing is that maybe Igor thinks that maybe you know, well, Qatar is a tough team, so he don't want to risk players a little bit of, uh, you know, in doubt, like Rollin Borges, for example, and Sana. Maybe he wants to bring them both and get them ready for. The Bangladesh and Afghanistan game, you know, that is more crucial to, you know, qualify for the Asian Cup. Yeah. So I think overall he has rested his key player and also, you know, started a strong team which defense, which which can be defensively very strong, you know, with so at least I think four or five defenders. So I think this is a good way to go for game for for the match like this. I think, like I said, uh, my my little bit of uh, you know a point of discussion would be the midfield. Well, Glenn and Suresh being, you know, a uh, 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 debut for Glenn and Suresh so starting very well though, but starting just now. Maybe later on, maybe Pranoy is there, Anirudh is there, and maybe we have the talented boy uh, from Northeast United, Apuya might come in later on probably. We have good options there. And even yeah. in the flank, I think Changte is there, uh, Udanta is there, you know. So we have uh, even Akash can, you know, come up probably later on. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's look, yeah, is there. I think yeah, Anand, yeah, by just checking the bench also, it looks like Anrut Thapa is also injured because he is not in the bench. So we on okay. midfield we have Sahel, Brandon, oh. Pranoy. Thapa is not in the bench. Yeah, Lalan okay. Moya on the bench uh, in midfield mm-hmm. department, and of course we have Narendra and Adil Khan as a centre back on the who are defenders on the bench. Then of okay. course you have mm-hmm. Udanta, Liston, 
Ishan and Akash Mishra and Aminder Singh also on the bench. So looks like I think okay. Sana and Thapa are out because of the injury. Maybe for this game, we don't know. Or maybe for the upcoming games also. So I think it looks like uh, back five uh, to me with, you know, Ashik has not played much uh, uh, in, in the forward position anymore. I think he's more of a left wing back. So I think India is dealing with a couple of injuries. So I think it, he's trying to make sure that he's defensively very solid. And, you know, later on, of course, he can bring pace if he can bring somebody like Liston Klaas exactly. from the bench. Exactly. And I think exactly. if India is still in the game till the 60 minute, I think it will relatively be interesting to see what kind of subs Igor Simak makes. Exactly, exactly, Ashish. I think, uh, you know, like I said, if you can if you can hold, uh, you know, the mighty Qatar, of course, they are, if you see the FIFA ranking, they are 58 and we are 105. Uh, I think, uh, you know, stay deep, stay compact, stay close to each other. And, you know, later on, bring players like Changte, Udanta, whose speed can be utilized, you know, on, on a surprise attack. And, uh, of course, we have you know, players like Brandon, if he's there in the bench, uh, I'm not sure. Who yeah, can, Brandon can, is, you know, yeah, Brandon is in the bench. Yeah, who can, who can come and deliver those, you know, excellent, uh, you know, set pieces. And those telling and, you know, those you know, penetrative passes for Sunil or for Manvil, you know, to break the lines of Qatar defence and probably, you know, nick in a goal or two by this, by this forwards, you know, quick forwards we have. I think considering the formation uh, which India is playing today, I think it was, it might be touch and go between Suresh and uh, Lalan Moya. I believe so. I think uh, maybe, you know, I think uh, Suresh is more... I, I would say uh, a box to box, you know, probably. But today it, it will be interesting to see maybe, probably if Suresh might be have a little bit of authority to go up where Glenn is sitting deep, you know, in front of the back three, probably. If there is a back three with Rahul and Ashik, I think we might, you know, uh, work on the channels. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we have strong defensive players and who can, you know, if needed. And the right moments move forward on the flanks, and uh, you know, hopefully, Sunil combination of Sunil Manvir and Bipin can create some sort of you know uh, uh, chances and make a goal. You know, so so that's what we're hoping for. Okay, so I think uh, I just got that. I you think that Rahul Beke is playing as a right wing back and Pritam Kutal is playing as a, a right sided centre back. Uh, do you I think, feel like that. Yeah. Do you think it is it, it's better than having Pritam on a right wing back and Rahul Beke as a right centre back? Uh, I well, I think uh, Pritam for me would be more. Maybe I, I'm not sure. That's what my assumption because you know what what I what I maybe for uh, the coach to think that Rahul going forward maybe he understands Sunil better probably. Of course, Pritam and Sunil has played lots. At the club level, they have more. They have trained together. Probably, maybe trying to, and or it can be other way around. Also, like you say, Pritam playing as right back and trying to connect with Manvir. It can be. So it's just a discussion. But yeah. uh, I presume that yeah, because uh, with Sandesh, I think Pritam has played more uh, matches for the national team and for ATK also. Maybe the understanding is much better. So on those lines, <laughs> I'm just giving yeah. My I think on that. we have seen Pritam and uh, Manvir Singh combining well at the club level, and same with Rahul Beke and Sunil Chetri. <laughs> Rahul Beke has left, I think Bangalore FC. He will join Mumbai City FC. So we will only able okay. to see them together in Indian setup only. I think uh, yeah. I will start taking some questions from fans also. So if anybody have uh, any question for the coach or me, you can send it on the uh, on the on our live chat. So I will take the best questions. Another thing, coach, which I want to ask that you know. What kind of the team talk a coach do games like games like these, you know, uh, do coach speak a lot just before the kickoff or, you know, they have already done the talking one day before the game? Uh, I think uh, every coach has their own way of uh, upping or, you know, you know, motivating the players. I think uh, at this moment, without saying, I think the players are experienced enough now with all the ISL matches. I think there is no need much to, you know, give them sort of a pep talk every time. They know and they do understand the enormity because sometimes what happens is that if you, you know, talk too much, uh, you know, the nerves, the nerves are there, you know, it, 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 it gets worse. So I think maybe it's just giving them confidence that, hey, go and give your best, you know, enjoy your game. Mistakes will happen. Don't worry about the first mistake. Keep on going. Try to believe in each other, stay compact and, you know, 
play at the right moment, yeah, try to keep the ball as much as possible. But saying that if there is a danger, well, no need to risk, you know. Uh, you play to your strength. I think that's what Igor would say. Igor, I think, as far as I heard from some of the players, is that he's a good motivator. I believe that he will just be there. Of course, he will be pressurized. He will be pressured under pressure for sure. Which coach is not? Yeah. Which coach is not? So I think this is a good moment for Indi- for him, for the players, for Indian football, to you know give our best and hopefully come with a you know good result. Yeah, so I will start taking some questions. So Abraham Matthew is asking, the, is the formation is 5-2-3? I think Abraham, a coach, have already spoke, spoken about it. I think it is 5-2-3 or you can say 5-2-1-2 if Sunil Chitri is playing in central and then you have Bipin Singh and uh, Manveer Singh playing on left and right. A split striker formation which is, also, which is also known as, you know, many coaches have been doing that in world football. So I will take more questions. I think there is a question on IGOTS TMAC coach. Uh, John asked that, you know, uh, what, uh, what is your... Uh, uh, thinking on uh, Igor Stimek last two years as an Indian coach? Uh, well, you know, it, it's not right for me to speak about other coaches, but uh, the fact the fact is that last season the, and this this is starting this season, it has not been easy for coaches in any way, whether it was the club level, it was the ISL, you know, even, even, even the national levels, international level, it has not been easy. So I wish that you know the club, uh, the coach had more time, so that you know he could have work. Uh, and of course, if the pandemic was there, I think we would have been playing Qatar at home, right? Yeah, this was our would, home game. Yeah, that would have been more advantageous. But saying that, maybe the Qatar stadium is quite compact. You know, something like uh, uh, the Ambedkar Stadium. You know, small, not that big. So hopefully, those vibes and those things comes up and. Uh, I think uh, it's it, it won't be wise to judge uh, Igor for me or, or, or you know it's it's a difficult proposition. Yeah. Because uh, the pandemic has been really really a problem for everybody. Yeah. One of the uh, person also commenting same give Steemak more time. Covid destroyed all all of his plans. Says John. <laughs> uh, there's another question uh, in Hindi uh, which is Vikas Mishra is asking. Brandon ke bina hum midfield kaise dominate kar sakte hain? Coach, aapka kya kehna is baare mein? Mishra. Aap yeah. Akash Mishra ka koi rishidhar to nahi. <laughs> Parveen Mishra hai to maybe he is relative to Akash Mishra to aap usko Hindi mein hi jawab de sakte hain. Acha. Nahi mujhe lagta hai agar uh, Rollin agar fit hota to mujhe lagta hai coach Rollin ko khelta. Aur abhi Thapa agar injured hai to you know options thoda sa wahan pe kamzor hota hai. Mujhe lagta hai ki Brandon bahut acha uh, contribution denge. Maybe coach ne socha hoga thoda jo physical players hai thoda strong players hai jaise ki आपके सुरेश है ग्लेन है जो थोड़ा स्ट्रांग फिजिकली है शायद उनको पहले खिला के बाद में शायद जो टेक्निकल प्लेयर मोर यू नो अटैकिंग मोर शायद शायद बाद में ला सकता है मुझे लगता है ऐसा ओके ओके सो देखते हैं क्या होता है yeah so uh, somebody is asking regarding goalkeeper is gurpreet singh sandhu on the goal for india by the way and there is another question which is uh, a very interesting question from mystic according to current playing 11 what should be our playing style uh, counter attacking football coach oh well <laughs> i think uh, we have to see the strength of the uh, the team but uh, uh, we have improved players have improved on the you know ball position you know if you see our indian players but that is improved more when they are playing with their respective isl teams so coming back to the same question if the national team had more time you know to prepare on that you know it would have been better but now I think it depends upon the opponent. Uh, against uh, Qatar, if you go counter attack, I think you, you know you, they might kill you. You know later on they might just you know you might leave spaces behind and that might be the wise. You know, or if you play very high defense and Qatar have players like uh, Almos, we have Muntari who scored against Republic of Ireland, uh, I think last two months back, and they have players there you know who are, who are very good. So I think it we have to play. The, tactically depending upon the opponent the tactics i think which igor is trying to implement today might be different from the next match against bangladesh for example okay yeah so you know it depends upon the teams it depends upon the teams i think yeah uh, so there is another question anish rane uh, where could be the match won or lost for india in this game i think midfield okay 
and vikash mishra says i am not related to akash mishra chal <laughs> <laughs> that's good uh uh so the, the people are supporting thank you for very much for this all the support and love so uh, there is another question uh, from ajay as you all seen that bangladesh made a draw with afghanistan by comparing with this result does indian football is in progressive path according to you coach because of course we did not have a good qualifiers uh, i think we drawn against afghanistan and Bang- bangladesh at our home but we did uh, went away and drawn against asian champions qatar so what your take in on the overall qualifiers till now i think uh, in the international competitive football i think results matter you know you might have the best players you might have the best coaches but if result is not there then uh, that's that's where the problem starts i think uh, our you know qualifying matches has been the not at the best as you can see the results uh saying that but i can i, I want to say the fact here i know i know as indian as an indian coach as an indian uh, national team football lover as a fan for the national team i like i was there watching the qatar and uh, you know uh, indian national team in 2019 september 10th but i think uh, it was a tough match for us we drew the match but you know i think gurpreet singh sandhu was the man of the match that shows that you know qatar was on attack and attack and attack so we still have a long way to go so um i think uh, <laughs> overall it could have been better so to say you know uh, the overall qualifying could have been better there might be reasons which we might but again football professional football is about results okay so coach uh, another question is about gagan is asking uh, say something about sandesh jingan so you know of course he left kerala blaster and you have worked with him in past so he went to atk mohan bagan i think he has a very good season you know with atk mohan bagan so how important role of sandesh jingan in this lineup you know because you don't have natural center back you know because pritham kotal rahul bk subhashish bos we, we might see any of three of them playing as a center back so will you play sandesh jingan in between of that three or will you play him uh, on a right or a left how do you play him i think uh, you know the backbone the structure of good prit starting from the goal and some, having sandesh in the middle would be more so that he can guide both the left and right players so he can be the central you know uh, part if if i think if there was a back four maybe he would have definitely on one of the side but in this back five i think sandesh playing in the middle because we have maybe if the attack is from the left we have rahul and pritham you know pressing there and sandesh covering those angles you know winning the balls or any crosses come which beat pritham or which beat subhashish sandesh is sandesh is there to attack those loose balls So Sandesh, I've known him from an India under 19, long time back. If you, this is he is a good example for players who might not be the best technically, but who have the right mentality and that effort. He is a he's a person. He's a leader. He's a born leader, I would say, because he came up himself after that injury. He came back and you know played in the ISL. So he's somebody Indian football needs. I always sometimes have a chat with him and always him the, wish him the best. Today we need Sandesh more than we need him before. Yeah, so I think and Saurav Sukla is asking what is the role of Sunil Chhetri in this lineup and I you know how he going to play in this lineup according to you? Sunil is a leader always. Personally for me when I see Sunil I feel more confident in the international team. You know, of course Gurpreet is there Sandesh is there but when you see Sunil what he does in the field you know with his movements with his attitude with his aggression with his tenacity he is a leader par excellence for any youngsters bipin manveer shuresh glen a little bit of motivation a little bit of shout from shrill is going to motivate them to run their best you know and of course you'll shout there but he's all there to guide there he shouts you because he wants you to improve he shouts at you because he's a born winner he wants to win every game that's the mentality of a winner so sunil today being a captain he is a captain i think there is no better captain and no better player for that matter in indian national team for at the moment so sunil has always and will always have a big role to play i think he is demanding player you know he wants his teammates to do well and his team to do well exactly excuse exactly. me so somebody is asking can india substitute their goalkeeper yes india can make five changes in this game you know as fifa has extended the uh 
deadline till uh, next December 2022. So we will see in the World Cup also teams making five subs. So five subs are available uh, to the Indian team. There is a questions about Sahel. Sahel is not playing. So, uh, coach, you have worked with Sahel in past at Kerala Blaster. What do you think? What is his best position? Because many people have confusion that he, is he number eight box to box? Is he number ten? You know, uh, attacking midfielder. There's comparison drawn to somebody like Ozil in uh, uh, by Kerala Blaster fans. So what do you think? What is the best position and how Kerala Blaster and Indian football team can bring best out of him? You know, sometimes uh, for a player. Uh, too much adulation and too much praise doesn't really help. Sahal is a good boy. I remember when I before he signed for Kerala Blasters, I was training with him, uh, with the reserve, to just seeing him whether he's good enough for the first team. The first moment he saw off the field before he entered the field, a smile, you know, that that smile, that that charm was there. In the field, his first touch, his two touch, really impressed. But the fact is, Sahal has not really, you know. Uh, done justice to his talent yet because if you see his statistics so many years i love him i love him as a boy i love him as a player i'm in touch with him now also but what you know it it, it depends upon the coaches you know a, a role for him also i think uh, you know you go to you go to a team where you know you are you know the expectation is less i think in blasters i think you know the expectation is quite high for him, which is natural because he's one of the star, so-called star. But I think uh, he needs somebody, he need, he need to play in a team where the team is winning more so that he can exhibit more of his skills because, you know, uh, people expect him to do score goals, but maybe that is not his strength. His strength might be on the field, you know, maybe as a number 10 probably, you know, maybe as a number 10 where he, he comes down, get the ball, dribble, connect with the striker or play to the flank. And maybe wait for the loose ball, you know, to strike to the goals. Maybe that, that that's that's what position I think. Uh, but again, how much chances he gets to play in that position is a question, and that depends upon the coach, uh, the, the teams where he's playing at the moment. But no doubt, I think if we have the right team and you know the right results for him, I think he will shine. He is one of the best player we have. Yeah, and I have also spoken about this on this platform only. Sahel, as a if you see just his uh, talent, you know, he is a fantastic player. But overall, his numbers in ISL with Kerala Blaster have not justified the talent. And I think he can do much better job what he's doing uh, right now. But it's great to see that he's a part of India setup. I think that will also give him confidence because coming and training with national teams motivates players to do better at the club level. True, true, true. When you, when you, when you, when you play for the national team, you know, uh, like somebody was telling, if I, I forgot the name, the player, he's saying that, the speed of play, the speed of play in international matches is much faster. You know, maybe in, in club level, maybe sometimes you have more time on the ball, but in, in international and higher higher competitions, there is no time to think much, you know. You have to act very quickly. Your your awareness has to be much quicker. So I think they learn and hopefully they work upon their weakness, you know, on off seasons or during the pre-seasons, so that you know the flaws, whatever they have, they can improve upon and get a better result for themselves and the team. Yeah, so Anish Rane, who is FC Goa fan, so it is also an interesting question because Glenn Martins played that, you know, box-to-box midfielder role at, at FC Goa in the Champions League because Eddie Vidya was playing in the base of the midfield. Today, I think with two center, uh, box-to-box midfield, will you see Glenn Martins doing more of a number six job, you know, sitting back, uh, allowing somebody like Suresh uh, to, uh, you know, go ahead? I, I um, that Definitely. I think that's what the, the plan is. Or probably... When the Glenn is playing more deep, maybe Suresh can a little bit go up, you know, that Suresh is more of, uh, you know, a threat going forward, you know, which we have seen in with, with Bangalore FC also. But Glenn can play both, you know, but today, as we don't have Tapa, as we don't have Rowling, maybe the role for him is more, you know, to sit deep, you know, get on the loose balls, connect with the center backs, you know, trying to build up from the midfield and, you know, uh, try to connect with the forwards again on the turns. And, uh, you know, if needed, I think maybe Suresh is the one who's going to go up and down, you know, uh, and attack. Because that's where I think the combination of Suresh and Sunil at club level is going to help probably, you know. So if Sunil's played deep, a little bit deep down, that connection, little connections give one and, you know, one and give, give and take, you know, and, and or take and give that connection 
or maybe then Sunil get it, give it to Suresh, Suresh play wide, and Sunil go and you know break the channels to attack the corners or attack the ball yeah. from the flanks. That's, yeah, so that's, coach, that might happen. Yeah, I, coach, I think people are still confused by that lineup and the formation. So please correct <laughs> me if I'm wrong. I'm I'm just going to repeat everything you have uh, we have discussed till now. Uh, I think India is starting uh, five two one two formation. You know, uh, uh, according to coach. It will be better that if we see Rahul Beke as a right wing back and of course Ashik will play as a left wing back. Then Pritam Kotal as a uh, right centre back, Sandeesh Jingan as your main uh, centre back yeah. and Subhashish Bose as a left centre back. And then of course you have Glenn Martins and Suresh in the in midfield too. And then you have Sunil Chetri and ahead you will have Bipin Singh on a left sided uh, forward role and Manveer Singh on a right sided for, forward role. Right coach? That's, that's what I feel. I, I feel that you know when Sunil comes deep a little bit as a falls, Bipin and Manvir might go a little bit inside, you know, a little bit cut in, so that, you know, so that we have, uh, we have more, you know, people up front. Uh, I, and you have, say, for example, Rahul, my, my belief or Rahul Beke playing on the right uh, wing back is that, you know, one advantage is whenever we have a throw in, Rahul is there to give that, you know, perfect long, long throw in. For yeah, yeah. So, so that, that way I'm looking at, you know, because, <laughs> okay. uh, but it's going to be interesting because uh, we have, uh, if you see the lineup and if you see the bench, I think we have talent all around. But today is a big match. But for a player, this is what you want. This is what you want. You want to play with the best and against the best teams. So in Asia, Qatar might be at the moment, I think, fifth. And we are 19th, I believe. But hey, this is the moment. This is the chance that we can see that our Bharat football is going to be yeah, so you Hindi, you have a question in Hindi. And again, we have discussed this a little bit, but you will give a short answer. They will feel good. They asked, what do we need to change the streamer? Do you not think that now we need to go to another coach? I think the name is very complicated. X, I, X, I, something. So you can give a answer, coach. If you give a little short answer, then it will be better. Okay, let's give X from the name. No, his name is very complicated. नहीं मुझे लगता है हर कोच को थोड़ा समय मिलना चाहिए अगर अगर मुझे लगता है अगर टीम क्वालिफाई करता है एशियन कप के लिए तो शायद मौका बनता है उसको I think of course so अभी जो ये FF ने भी इनको short term extension दिया है जो September इस साल तक तो I think वो भी wait कर रहे हैं कि India कैसे इन आने वाले तीन मैचों में खेलती है preparation India की कुछ अच्छी नहीं रही India का camp होना था Kolkata में वो नहीं हो पाया because covid 19 में हमारे या friendly friendly matches नहीं हो पाए फिर वो Qatar भी गए हैं तो वहाँ पे भी situation उनके लिए easy नहीं थी so I think बहुत सारे लोग future के लेके question पूछ रहे हैं आने वाले दस सालों में Indian football का क्या होगा I think हम लोग हम दोनों ही यहाँ पे जोत सी नहीं है but hopefully दोनों ही हम सभी ये चाहते हैं Indian football आगे जाए यहाँ से and एक और question यहाँ पे है कि क्या संजय कामत पूछ रहे हैं why we can't play passing football under Stimac like Goa or Goa plays under Juan India doesn't win next three games should we sack him we have already talked about sacking so coach let's ask about passing football you know many people think that you know clubs club especially in ISL playing passing football but they have to also consider there are four four or five foreigners you know in the in uh, in ISL team and then of course it is easier to play passing football so can you as a coach tell you know how easy or difficult is to you know implement a passing football style with or without foreigners i think uh, the trend in ISL now which which i think is good for the club level is that we have a lot of uh, spanish style of football at the moment we have garati mein side the starting mein side sat coaches the jo they were from spain you know and what they did was that they brought players, many Spanish players were there, you know, who came and, you know, that was the uh, style or that was the system, that was the process, that was the, you know, uh, build up football, as they say, they, the, the, most of the coach wanted to play. Now, if good players or jo technically gifted players, if you have a good player, then it becomes easier for Indian players also, you know. But when you come back to the national team, with due respect to everyone, maybe, you know, we have a different type of player. So, if you want to play a passing football, I think we need players of the caliber, players of that, that also. Ha, club level mein khel sakta hai kyunki aap mujhe se kaha, there are four or five players who are good and if you combine with better Indian players who are technically good, you know, the team looks very good. There's a flow. But when we come to the national team, maybe, you know, like I said, maybe we have to, as coaches, if... Indian FA, if everybody have to 
work harder at the grassroots level, at the youth level to bring better technical players so that, you know, and improve our ranking. We have the World Cup ranking for the World Cup. एशिया में टॉप फाइव में हम आएंगे तभी हम आगे और निकलेंगे अभी हम 19 पे 19 सत्रह अठारह उन्नीस पे अगर हम जब टॉप फाइव में या टॉप सिक्स में आएंगे वर्ल्ड कप तो हम नजदीक क्योंकि फाइव कुछ साल के बाद फाइव कंट्रीज आर गोइंग टू प्ले वर्ल्ड कप एशिया में अगर टॉप फाइव में टॉप फाइव में तो बहुत चांसेस अगर टॉप फिफ्टीन के बाहर हो टफ तो हमें मुझे लगता है इमीडिएटली हमें देखना चाहिए कि हम एशिया में कितना अच्छा कर सकता है और नेशनल टीम का प्रोग्राम और बेहतर हो सकता है मतलब longer camps you know more competitions probably ye hame help kar sakta hai yeah thoda sa aur confusion hai to main do teen cheeze clear kar deta hu game will be live on star sports 1 2 jio tv hotstar i think it is live everywhere in malayalam in tamil also another thing which people are uh, also not aware that sana is injured anil thapa is injured and rolwin boys is also injured Bojis. so i think uh, that's why we have seen somebody like glen martin starting alongside suresh maybe if rolwin or thapa was fit so we might have seen a different midfield in this game uh, coach okay. another question which is i think kafi log a question puchte hain why india is not able to produce strikers is it fault <laughs> in our uh, domestic setup you know that we play foreigners in important position or do you think as a federation aff need to do something some rules or regulation because some people suggest that you know you should make a rule that you can't have a foreign striker but then again in a team sheet you can show somebody like foreign striker as a midfielder and on field he's playing as a striker so how we can change it in upcoming 4 5 years that's a million dollar question nahi <laughs> ek <laughs> <laughs> one cause say up uh, one cause is that If you go back a little bit of you know at the at the another level, second division. When you see second division I league, which may be strikers foreigners only. Yes, two strikers, two foreigners they play generally. Strikers only. Yeah, कम कम से कम एक होता ही होता है. Yeah. अगर आप I league में आओगे तो striker का position तो आप foreigners को ही देखोगे. Yeah. आप अगर आप अगर मुझे पूछोगे तो ये foreigners को ban कर दे लेकिन हम ऐसा भी नहीं कर सकते है ना? So maybe uh it's it's a muskil it's it's a very difficult proposition because after uh, vijayan then after then bachong then sunil after sunil who i think maybe manveer singh uh, well, that's the only center forward we have nowadays ishan pandit has come scored some goals also but uh, i think natural till, forward itne nahi hai hamare india ke paas is time pe filhal sunil ke level mein to koi hai hi nahi filhal uh, it's it's uh, lekin let's hopefully hopefully yeah manveer is uh, growing onto that but we need to grow more and hopefully ishan of course he has done well with uh, fc goa with the national team he has to grow more and you know maybe get more playing time but it's 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 difficult to uncharted at this moment you know uh, maybe we have to sit together with the fa coaches and maybe encourage more players to uh, play as strikers and maybe get chance you know hamare jo players tha jj for example wo bhi abhi shayad he's not getting much chance for example you know Yeah, and he, since, Kabar, so, yeah, yeah, since since he came back injured, injury, I think it is also difficult for him, you know, to replicate the Very same difficult. form. And injury was Very also difficult. tough. And you have uh, worked as a head coach, you know, with Long Lejong, and we have seen some like Bipin. I feel remember Samula was there. So hmm. is it uh, tough for coach sometimes to trust Indian players because coach is judged by result, you know. If you don't get result, you might get sacked. So is it tough, you know, sometimes when there is a uh, pressure to win games? to give indian player to lead uh, the responsibility to lead the lineup no that's true yeah, you you always want to play your best lineup you know of course if the foreign strikers are not uh, if you have a striker for an if he's not fit maybe you have you bring your best indian striker naturally but again you know uh, when the a defender play against a foreign uh, a foreign striker they are more you know uh it's difficult for them but playing against in indian ska mentally you know it's easier for them so i think we have to change the mental side mental setup mental thought it's a difficult uh, you know question because we don't have much players uh, playing in striker to striking position now all most of the indian players want to play wing back or full back or wingers or you know maybe you know that's of course goalkeepers so but but maybe we have to encourage more players we 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 have to have probably maybe we have uh, like as a specialized uh, as a specialized group maybe we identify some specialized players some some talented players promising players to play in that position probably maybe we can have a separate you know group maybe maybe this this thought for the future probably it can happen it can happen 
ओके एंड आपके हैदराबाद में भी यू हैव गुड्स यंग इंडियन प्लेयर्स कमिंग अप बट एक देर अनदर एग्जांपल यू नो व्हिच आई फील समटाइम सैड आल्सो आशिक कुरैन फॉर एग्जांपल प्लेड एज अ सेंटर फॉरवर्ड इन एएफसी एशियन कप इफ यू रिमेंबर कोच एंड ही डिड वेरी वेल यू नो इन दैट एज अ ऑफ कोर्स ही डिड नॉट स्कोर मेनी गोल्स और ही डिड नॉट स्कोर गोल्स बट एज अ नंबर 9 ही वाज ही वाज फिजिकल ही वाज यू नो गोइंग हेड टू हेड अगेंस्ट द सेंटर बैक्स एंड देन सिंस ही केम बैक टू द बेंगलुरु एफसी सेटअप he started use he is used as a left wing back so i think sometime for a indian player also it's not easy you know because they are not trusted in that position you know for a very long long period if they don't do well in forward position coach sometime adjust them to the you know different position so maybe ek there's another reason you know uh, where we are not seeing the many indian striker hopefully with lesser foreigners in playing 11 from the next season right. i think they are saying in isl right. they will have only four foreigners a six in the right. squad i think we might see some indian players playing in at least in attacking position say in wings or as a center forward uh, that's a, that's a good move that's a good move by the indian fa and uh, of course in in the you know following the norms of afc for the afc matches that you can play only four foreigners so hopefully coming season i think uh, hopefully everything goes well and we can start with the leagues i think hopefully we can uh see more indian strikers up front you know who are there at least who are you know sort of uh called indian strikers you know uh, apart from sunil maybe we have mandi maybe jj coming back probably we have ishan is there for example maybe we have other like liston for example you know yeah, we have we have uh, from other other teams also we have youngsters yeah we, they might surprise us they might surprise us and uh, you have one uttarakhandi boy in, under your ranks in hyderabad i think you forgot him rohit dhanu Ah yes he is is one of a uh, one of the most talented boy but uh, again he has to prove uh him, himself in the field you know he's he's I, in my in my career i think i've seen good players but he's one player which i always say that he has the talent he's one of the most gifted player but that you know he has done well for for the age group you know but it's now maybe coming season or next he's still young i think he's one one player we have to look upon in, for the future i think somebody the player people also need to uh, understand that you know maybe you have a uh, you have a talent you have a technique but sometimes your body is not ready for the men's football you know because it's not easy to play against you know in isl at a senior level sometime for these youngsters so they need some time to get you know uh, f- familiar with these kind of uh, senior level football tactics wise technique wise and physicality exactly. wise also yeah so exactly. coach before we wrap this up you know because we are just 20 minutes away from the kick off uh, as okay. you have been watching somebody like uh, lots of northeast players from very early age somebody like dheeraj who has been playing in india under 14 setup since india under 14 setup uh, he did not and i think you were part of kerala blaster when he was the goalkeeper also yeah. i am not sure of the timeline yeah yeah and you were part of it then he went to atk mohan magan atk before and then of course this is an atk mohan magan and he didn't play Uh, much football there then he came back then he came to fc goa in january window and has done fantastic in champions league so what's your take on that and uh, do you think indian young players need to be smart that we are there signing for in isl you know they need they need to prioritize the playing time exactly but you know ashish one of the most difficult thing for a footballer is trying to be in a team which is you know right for him you know because uh when the coaches change sometimes you know you might be regular with one coach you know and maybe another coach comes in and where you might you know the coach might have a different you know perspective of football and maybe you are not there again you know but like you said i think money is there all the youngsters are earning good money now in isl but like you said the youngster has to be more clever and the people are who are you know guiding them uh, have to be you know advising them well of course they do that telling them that you should go to a club where you get more chances but saying that it is easy to say that you go to a club where you get you will get the playing time but it is not easy because there is always somebody or the other who are already good in that position set you know so that's the same case with dheeraj for example you know the so i remember we had a boy in and uh, kerala blasters long time ago his name was uh, dipendra negi for example yeah. uh he was a very talented boy but now where is he now for example where is komal khatal now for example you know he was one of the uh, so called good player in the in the world cup uh, on the 17 so well uh but i think uh, you know what we can do is like i think uh, we have to have uh, 
we have to make a process for these youngsters. After ISL also, some, some sort of, you know, uh, games to play. You know, they need, they need more game time to develop themselves, you know. Otherwise, they're in ISL and they're not getting even one or two matches. So it is a great loss for them, great loss for Indian football. Hopefully, we come with some other tournaments where, you know, they can showcase their talent. And like I said, the rules coming up hopefully give more chances to talented in, uh, young Indian players. Okay. I think, Coach, uh, we are just now, I think, 15 minutes away from the kickoff. Okay. I thank you very much. Uh, you have came here in a very short notice. I thought, you know, doing yeah. a pre-show, because we have never done that. We started doing post-match shows, and I thought, you know, it will be great to have somebody like you on this show and because the amount of knowledge you have about Indian football, Indian players, you have been working in Indian for very long. Uh, before uh, going, uh, what is your prediction for this game? I'm very, well, it's going to be a tough game, but I think uh, we're going to make, we are going to make two goals against Qatar. I don't know how much Qatar, is, maybe Qatar <laughs> might score more, but uh, well, I'm hoping that India will win, but being realistic, I think it's going to be a tough game. But we are going to have a good game. Uh, the score, I'm not, I'm not being negative here. Maybe I'm very practical, very pragmatic. But then, well, if we win, I'll be the happiest person today for, for the country. But it's going to be tough. But I, I hope Sunil is going to get one. And you never know, depending on my score one. Are you sticking with your uh, prediction which you signed on my, on my WhatsApp? 4-2? Probably, for Qatar, probably, probably, probably. I, I think, probably I think, for, if 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 we keep the goal difference to two goals, I think that will be good result. If Qatar, they will be coming in this game to take revenge against India. You know, I think because uh, they played uh, that 0-0, zero zero, uh, we played against them at their home, and of course, this is our home game. We are playing in Qatar only, but I think they will be coming in this game to take a revenge. I think India need to make sure that we don't concede many goals. Uh, because uh, we need confidence going into the Bangladesh and Afghanistan game and now especially considering result between Bangladesh and Afghanistan I think India has good chance to finish third in this group if we can go and win the next two games so I think Qatar I think they last played as a national team they last played on 30th March against Republic Ireland so they have also have not played as national team uh, much you know uh, they have um, two months now so I think it's the right time to play Qatar I think coach is positive. Good, yeah. I think I'm also positive. I think thank you very much for everybody for joining in. Of course, we try to take as many as questions we can because we have not able to answer all of your questions. Uh, we will we will try to bring coach maybe to before the next game also. Let's see how this goes and hopefully India able to you know. Uh, take something out of this game maybe another draw it will be great or maybe uh, if you go uh, you know go ahead of yourself maybe india can win against asian champion you never know you know on our day india can defeat any team if we can play at our our our, our best potential somebody like gurpreet singh sandhu having amazing game against qatar last time so hopefully our defense will be very solid considering we are playing back five now uh, i think it's very important for some like glenn martin sorish to control that midfield also because uh, Qatari midfield is also very strong so and to uh, all our viewers uh, thank you very much you can subscribe to our channel also we will have a post match show we will have our uh, uh, correspondent joining us from uh, Qatar uh, regarding uh, after the game talking about the game that uh, from the both side from Qatari side or India side also thank you very much and of course somebody saying take notes uh, regarding the games of course we will take the notes and we will bring you all the uh, important points after the game and hot star par bhi aayega yes hot star pe bhi hai jio tv pe bhi aayega and star ke bhi i think 5 ya 6 channels pe aa raha hai to aapko match na dekhne ka koi reason nahi hai i think this is you can't say there is no telecast it will it, it it will be everywhere i hope everybody go and support indian team thank you coach for joining us any any thoughts before we uh, sign off uh let's support india let's go blue tigers that's it thank you coach thank you thank I mean, you just thank you everyone and this live streaming